Alright guys, how's it going? New Age here with another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Mason and we are currently at 29 wins. Not bad. We are, we are killing it. We are killing it. We're getting into 30. That means we're coming pretty close to that 50. I gotta admit, we're, we're making some progress. I actually, um, I actually the other day tried, just, just for fun, <clears throat> Um, I got to 50 on singles, so on super singles, I already have that trophy, but we'll do it again, you know, if we're gonna record it, you know, we'll start over. Um, but I actually ended up, uh, playing it, trying to go past 50 to try and get to 200, and I switched up the team a bit from the one that I got to 50 with, and then I lost at 52, and I was like, wow, you change up the team, like, that's the definition of if it ain't broke don't fix it like for real so that was very disappointing um, but we got the Drapion and the Steelix on this side so I might just protect an earthquake uh, we have a Milotic that's a little suckish um, I actually kind of want to go for Iron Head I don't know I don't really have a move I want to go for with Aegis Slash but I would like to see how much I could weaken the Steelix, because if I could just take it out without having to explode with Glalie, that would be pretty cool. Um, the Milotic, I'm just going to have to kill with Glalie if I can. I don't even know if that'll kill Glalie. Oh, he's got the berry. Okay. Well, that's not going to do too much then. And that doesn't do much to Steelix either. Wow. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Wow, protected on Glalie too. Oh my gosh. Don't take advantage of my Glalie because it's a uh, female. I really don't think I can explode here. <clears throat> I don't really want to do this, but I think I need to switch. Yeah, I'm going to Earthquake again just to get off damage. Um, who... I don't really want to go out into Gengar because I want to, uh... Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect... No, I'd like to hit something with Metagross. Uh, I'm gonna Bullet Punch Drapion. I'm gonna switch out into Gengar. Actually, I don't need to switch out into Gengar now. Um... I'm gonna go out into Nidoking in Glalie's spot, and I'm gonna switch out Aegislash for Gengar. Because I just want to go for a Parish Song at this point. Um, some of these Pokemon are a little bit too bulky for me to want to explode on. So, this might get a little sketchy. I don't even know if these plays are necessary, but I also don't want a Steelix to set up on me either. So, I'm just going to get on some damage, just Bullet Punch. Um, that actually did a decent amount. Alright, yeah, that's why I didn't want to put Gengar in the middle. Because Steelix... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Alright, so Steelix has Crunch, so that's scary. Um, I honestly might just try and disable that Crunch. I'm gonna go for Protect. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for Bullet Punch or Drapion. I'm going to Earth Power the Steelix, and I'm actually gonna disable the Steelix's Crunch in case I don't kill it. Drapion is an issue too, though. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna kill it, so that sucks. But at least Steelix can't crunch me. And he just goes for the Metagross. That sucks. I'm sorry, Metagross. Steelix might have even gone for, like, Earthquake or something. But if I could take it out now, that would be awesome. Alright, so Steelix is gone. Um. Oh, crap. No. Hang in there, Needle King. <sighs> Alright, so now I can go out into Glalie and explode. But the team is not looking too fresh. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna Shadow Sneak the Drapion and take it out. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do to my Lotic yet. Let's see, who does he have? A Glaceon. Damn, that doesn't work out well either. Alright, I'm actually... I'm gonna Shadow Sneak. See, when I don't explode, though, bad things happen. <laughs> um... I guess I'll just use Protect with Glalie. I kind of really just want to... I'm going to Parish Song on the next turn. I'm going to disable the Milotic's Hydro Pump for now. 
Just so at least it can't fire off that. That's like a really strong move that I don't need to take that damage from. Shadow Sneak should be able to take out Drapion. And these two should not really be able to touch me, I don't think. <clears throat> um, I did want to Perish Song, but I'm going to save that till the next turn since Drapion was about to go down anyways. Alright, cool, cool. No, it has Shadow Ball! <gasps> Alright, we should take that though. We're bulky Gengar. Yo, get out of here. With all your shady biznu. Alright, a Volcarona. Wow, okay. You know what? If I can take out these three now, I'm, I'm gonna try. Because honestly, Aegislash handles Glaceon and Volcarona to an extent. But I'm just gonna explode for now, get off what I can. And it'll be sketchy because I only have three Pokemon left, so I can't really perish song but I think Weavile might be able to handle the uh, Milotic. Alright, I just need big damage right now. Come on Glalie, I need you to take out what you can. <sighs> Come on. Show me that damage. Alright, Volcarone is gone, that's nice. Glaceon I should be able to handle, so I just have to make sure Milotic doesn't really get any HP back. Alright. Barrier. Uh, well, that only affects itself. And I should still be able to take it out with Iron Head. And it has leftovers. Alright, I might be able to kill it with a knockoff. Um, so, I have to go out in a Weavile here. Hopefully their last Pokemon is not too big of an issue. Haxorus. Oh my gosh. Chill, bro. Hmm... Alright, I'm going to Iron Head the Glaceon. I really want to Icicle Crash the Milotic. Or the Haxorus. But knocking off the Milotic is like a big deal right now. Damn it. Alright. I really hope I could take out this, uh... This Milotic. It's Hydro Pump is still disabled. We hit it with an Icicle Crash. If it doesn't have a Berry or a Sash, it should go down. Yes! Okay, Haxorus is gone. Yeah, this battle is way too sketchy. Alright. Now Glaceon, just chill with the Shadow Balls. Oh my gosh, you serious? And it's using Aqua Ring. Alright. Okay, Glaceon use rest. I really don't care about that. Aegislash can focus on Glaceon then. Weavon Gengar need to take out this Milotic. I can't even hit it with Icy Wind though. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, come on Aegislash. I need damage. I also need Glaceon to stop hitting me with Shadow Balls on my Gengar. Wow, that doesn't do enough. Alright, I'm gonna try and knock off the Milotic now. I really hope I don't lose to this Milotic. Its special attack is so high now. I'm just going to go for head, sla head Smash on Glaceon and knock off the Milotic. And I'm going to protect with Gengar, hoping that it tries to Shadow Ball. The thing is, if I disable its Hydro Pump, it can still get off one Hydro Pump before I disable it again. Alright, alright, not bad. If we were faster, that should take out Glaceon. Wow, it doesn't. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Alright, that all worked out well. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Another knockoff should take it out. Uh, it's not disabled anymore. We're faster, so Iron Head will take it out. And it was trying to use Toxic, which I'm not too worried about. Um, I don't know what I want to go for. I kind of just want to go for Protect. Because I don't want to disable it until it. Okay, it's gone. Oh, it's gone! Damn, the Milotic was so strong. This one might have to be a little bit shorter. Or not shorter, but less battles. Whew. Okay. Okay. Alright. And I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys. So we're back. Sorry about this. Um, I actually said this when I started recording it back again. I was having computer issues lately. It might be fixed now. I don't know. But I'm not really taking any chances. Um, so I'm just like saving the recording after each battle uh, and shortly after this next battle started There's just the one right after the one you just saw um, Shortly after this battle started it 
like my computer froze and it all crashed and everything but I mean my DS is still going so it doesn't really matter I just lose the recording um, but like I was trying to say before it crashed I'd rather lose some of the recording than all of the recording uh, so basically this next battle it's just another evolution team I send out Metagross I Mega Evolve protected with Glalie I head smash Glaceon but it was focus sashed I exploded with Metagross it took out Vaporeon, brought Leafeon down to that much, and Glaceon had a Focus Sash, and now here we are. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do in case a uh, Flareon comes out, because I'm pretty sure I could kill it with the Earth Power, but I don't know if Needle King will outspeed it. Alright, so I got an Espeon. Uh, that kind of sucks though, because then my Needle King just kind of dies, but... Oh, well actually no, that's, that's not the point of that. What I wanted to do was kill everyone with priority, so I'm actually going to go out into Weavile just in case Espeon goes for a Psychic move. And I'm going to Ice Shard the Leafeon, and I'm going to Shadow Sneak the Glaceon. And then all that's going to be left is Espeon, which should not be able to like take out my uh, Glalie. And then I can just explode next turn, and I think they'll have like one Pokemon left after these anyways. So I should be good to go. That's going to take out Leafeon. And Glaceon's gonna go down to Shadow Sneak, and hopefully Espeon went for a Psychic move on uh, Weavile, because that would be pretty awesome. And we should be good to handle this one. I don't know why they keep throwing Evolution teams at me. Yeah, see, so get out of here. Because they're... I mean, I guess they could be challenging, but... So far, with how my team works, just exploding on Pokemon, it really weakens them fast, so... Alright, so we got an Umbreon and a Sylveon. Alright. So I think I am going to explode here. Um, I do have a Focus Sash on Weavile, so I can survive anyways. And I'll probably go for like an Icicle Crash on Umbreon, just in case Explosion doesn't kill Umbreon. And I'm actually going to King Shield with Aegis Slash so I can Iron Head the next turn. Hit that Sylveon. I don't know if Sylveon will die either. I'm expecting a lot of them will die, if they don't all die. So we get the Icicle Crash off first, so that'll be nice to get some good damage and maybe flinch it. Because Umbreon I do know is the most bulky. Um, so let's kill some stuff. Espeon's dead for sure. Sylveon will probably die. Yep, oh and Umbreon dies too, nice. Nice, 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 taking out all of them. It's okay, Weavile, you hung in there. We got a crit on who? Was it a crit on Umbreon? Or Espeon? I was gonna say. Because that might have mattered for Umbreon. So, she's, yeah, she's just gone now. So, not bad. Um, I'm gonna... You'll notice another skip because I'm gonna save this battle and then we'll move on to the next one. You won't even notice it. Alright, we're back and good to go. Battle number 32. Let's get it. And then we can we can uh, end off the episode there. I I also don't know. I'm sorry if this episode's longer or shorter, because I can't. I'm not really keeping track of the time since I have to keep on pausing it. Um, but the first battle was long. This the second battle was pretty short, so it's probably gonna even out. Uh, so we got kind of a weird team. Like, pretty sure a lot of this just dies to uh, explosion. I, I kind of just want to use Explosion, to be honest. I mean, I'll, I'll take a turn to hit some stuff, maybe break some sashes, hit Krog, and I'll see how much I could do with that. I'll go for the Mega Evolve Protect. Um, I don't know, maybe hit hit Kingdra with an Iron Head. I mean, or maybe Floatzel, because Kingdra's for sure going to die. I mean, I know it's not super effective, but... Well, actually, then it'd just be hitting for neutral like it would for Floatzel as well. Or does water... Water doesn't resist ice, does it? It's just neutral? I don't even know anymore. And, uh... Yeah, I was hoping I could just take that one out because Kragonol has no defense. Kragonol is very specially defensive, but it has no defense. Ah, oh, crap. Does Floatzel get Swift Swim? I don't want it to hit me with a Focus Blast. I think it might. Either way, I'm gonna go for Explosion, see what happens. Damn! Yo, part of me wants to not even go for Explosion after seeing all the damage I'm doing. Or go for Explosion with Metagross. I think I'm gonna... Actually, no, I just used Protect, I can't. Alright, I'm gonna explode with Glalie. 
see if I could do that. Even though I could have killed it with another iron head. But whatever, whatever. We should be good to take out the rest of these. Um, I guess we'll find out right now if Floatzel is faster. I hope not. And Kingdra will be too. Ah, oh, Yo! Not cool! Not cool, bruh! Alright, so we're gonna get hit with the Surf. I don't think that'll take us out. Oh my gosh. It's in the rain, so obviously it's gonna do a lot. Special defense, hello? Hello? Yo, this team is crazy. Alright, so I'm just gonna protect with Glalie now. I'm gonna go for Explosion with Metagross. Um, that'll take out the Floatzel and maybe the Blastoise. Freaking fake out Blastoise. And I guess I'll... I don't know. I'll Iron Head the Kingdra. I'll hit it for whatever I can. Yo, that wasn't cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all need to chill. Literally everyone just go after Glalie. That's what you get. Yeah. Yum. Alright, I'm more hoping this takes out Blastoise. Okay, cool. The Float Soul is dead for sure. It didn't even take an Iron Head well. Alright, so now he'll be at three Pokemon left. So we should be chilling. And we'll hit this for whatever damage. Yeah, not too much. Alright, um... I think I'll go out into Gengar just because I have Protect on that. Oh my gosh! It's another Milotic! Crap. Honestly, Kingdra might take me out too. I think I have to Perish Song. Just in case. Still have two Pokemon left, but they're not even going to survive much longer. I can't Perish Song though. Because then Explosion's going to kill Gengar. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, let's protect. Explosion, and then Perish Song. Well, maybe Perish Song, I don't know. Explosion should probably take him out, but if I get hit because everyone's faster, then that's going to suck. But I'll do what I can. Alright, let's go, Glalie. You got this. No, 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 no! Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Get out of here. Alright. Yo, chill. This thing being faster sucks. The swift swim. I'm going to disable the Milotix Hydro Pump because that's not cool. I might lose. I really might lose. I'm going to knock off. I'm just going to double attack the Kingdra. Because that thing needs to get... Wow, it's faster than Weavile too. Alright, we should take that just fine though. Wow, we don't. Okay. Come on, just kill the Kingdra. Alright, no Hydro Pump for Milotic. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Alright, so Weavile didn't even get touched. That was awesome. These battles have been a little bit sketchy. Water teams kind of put in work on my team. Gotta admit. Alright, Rain finally stopped, so that's nice. So Hydro Pump won't be insanely strong. Um, I'm just going to Parish Song here. I still have Nido King. Granted, that's not much, but I don't know what else I can really do. Um, I'm actually going to knock off the Claude, sir. I'll try and take that out next. I'll Head Smash. Actually, no. I'm going to King Shield. Because if I'm going to... Well, actually, Hydro Pump's disabled. Damn it. I should have just Head Smashed. I doubt my Lodic's going to attack me anyways. Attack Aegislash. Damn! No! Alright, well, we got the Parish Song off. So it's really just going to be the Milotic that we have to worry about. And I don't even know what it's going to do. Hydro Pump is disabled. It has Blizzard. What the hell? Yo, get out of here with that. Oh my gosh. Freaking freeze hacks me. Nah. Alright, alright. So we got the Parish Counts going. I'm going to go for... I'm not going to go for Icy Wind. Um, I'm just going to go for Protect with Gengar. 
I'm just gonna make my Pokemon last as long as I can. I really don't want to Icy Wind because that's gonna make its attack higher. But I can't hit it with anything else. I mean, I need to put like Shadow Ball on this. Alright, I'm gonna head smash the Milotic, see how much damage I can do. I'm more just trying to make my Pokemon last now. Alright, so Clodster's gone. Yo, these water teams are too much. Too much. Alright, let's go, Age Slash. There we go. Hit him up with the head smash. So show us that damage. Ah! Oh my gosh. Damn! There you go, Age Slash. Alright, we, we got it, we got it, we got it. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna Icy Wind, it doesn't matter now. My Lodic is gone. Ah, there we go, Age of Slash, pulling through. Alright, and I'm also gonna say my goodbyes now, just because I want to make sure that I get everything in there before the episode ends. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, be sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff that would help me out, that would be awesome. Also. Ace asked me to start doing this, so I am, because I think that would be cool. Be sure to check out uh, mine and Ace's sticker store, because we put on new stickers. We put up new stickers every week, and we're starting to have a lot of cool Pokemon on there. The stickers are only $2 with free shipping, uh, so that would really help us out if you go check them out. Buy some stickers. They're all really cool, and we love making them for you guys. Um, so yeah, that being said, until next time, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.